What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to try something new. We're going to start doing gigapan searches like we used to do in the live feeds. What I'm going to show you is a few things that I've seen that stood out. Some of the things almost look like statues, weird animal statues. And then there's something that looks like a hieroglyph or a petroglyph. So we're going to get into that. Now, if you folks see anything in the photo that I don't point out, just leave the timestamp as always and tell us what you think you found. And then we can all have a look. So let's just jump right into it. This is from the Curiosity Rover. And you can see it right here. It's Mazal 1033, and it's white balanced by our map, ARMAP. And you can see it's 0 0.08 gigapixels. So it's not super large, right? And the date it was added was July 19th, 2015. And, uh, and it's pretty interesting, even though it's not a large pan, it doesn't matter. It's still pretty decently clear, right? So what we'll do is we'll have a look at a couple of these things, and then we're gonna try to scout around and see if we can find anything else. Let's just jump right into it. What I find pretty funky is the way some of these rocks stand up like this here, like straight on the edge. Okay. Now, that's not unusual for rocks, right? I mean, it's weathering. It's just the way it weathers and everything else. This I find interesting, too. You see these, like, edges of these, like, what look like rocks standing up. Okay. Now, according to NASA, they call this brine deposits, which is basically water with high salt content, right? Now, what I thought about is what some people say, well, is it possible that the civilization of Mars was very small people or beings? If that's true, and I'm saying if, if that's true, then could have these been walls to some of these structures? And the reason why I ask that is because if we back out, okay, this is on a hill. Okay, so I'm a little confused why water would come down. It's not like it's pooling there. It's coming down a hill or a butte, whatever this may be, and it's forming like this. So is it possible it's something else, something else intelligently designed where it just eroded away over a course of time? Just throwing that out. I'm not saying that's what it is, right? But still interesting. These here. Like little pieces just standing up. It almost looks like rust, right? Even some of the little rocks here have these little features on them are they natural or are they not? Look at this. We get this little rock with this little piece sticking straight out. You can see the shadow of it. Hey, folks, all you got to do is just look around these photos. Just weird, weird stuff. Now, a lot of it is rock erosion, and a lot of it is nothing more than manipulation. Um, we got these here. Looks kind of smooth. But if you look carefully at it, there's some blurring right there. You can see the square they put around it right there. Now, don't get me wrong, you do have a line right here, a stitch line. You can see that going across horizontally, and I'll put it right here in the middle. And you can see there's a lot of intentional blurring in a lot of these areas on these pieces. And you can see there's another straight edge right here. Let's back right out. Let me take you over to this area over here. This is pretty funky. Now, again, don't let the colors fake you out because that's what it's all about, right? Uh, although this one's pretty good, it's not like completely orange or this pukey color looking stuff. It is actually pretty natural looking, but that doesn't mean that the texture and the color still can't throw you off, right? I always found it interesting too, where you get this erosion going on, we have these layers, and you always have like these supports in between them. Now, is that natural here on Earth? It's one thing, again, to have these layers, these weird layers right here. You can see where it's worn out, but you always have like these separate piece like holding each section up. Is that natural here on Earth? Not 100% sure. I'd have to look that up to make sure, but here's another pot where I mentioned in the beginning, like it either has a petroglyph or a hieroglyph right here. This little orange piece right here on the side, right here, almost looks like a shape of an elephant or something like that. Look a little to the left. You can see it in the shade here. It looks like there's more features to this area where this piece is, right? Thought that was pretty interesting. And the way the sun's shining off of this thing, I'm not sure if it's like high above, like meaning high noon type thing, but you can see where this looks like it's more pointed out here, meaning it kind of goes in like this, has this curvature, and then this piece hanging out. And we have this ball type feature right here, right in the middle of the screen, right there, it looks like almost like a, like a pinkish or purplish color. But look at the shadow underneath it, it's completely almost square. Pretty interesting, right? Here's another object. Is it a statue? Let me take you up here. This is pretty cool. 
Let's go to the top. Right here, it looks like a statue head of like a, a, like a lizard of some sort when we zoom in. Put it right in the, in the middle of the screen. Looks like the mouth is wide open. Even looks like it has teeth. Might have an eye right here, all right? And has what looks like a leg hanging down. Now, is that just my mind playing games? Could very well be. However, that's the first thing I saw and that's the first thing that popped into my head. Is that what it is? I mean, it's possible it could be a statue head, right? Instead of an actual living animal. Here's another thing that's pretty cool. Right behind it, it looks like a recessed in area right here. And it looks like it goes down in there. Now, have a close look at these pieces right here in the center of the screen. Right there has has side to it on the right, goes across the back, comes back down. And you can see some other pieces in here. I'm sure if I brought this into Photoshop, we could burn a lot of that stuff away. And I guarantee this is not natural stuff we're seeing in here. Let me just zoom in here a bit more. See the shape of this right here? Almost like a stretched out U shape with 90 degree corners. Now this piece here has been featured on, uh, well many people talked about it, but the real Jimmy Roberts had talked about this too, and he did like a scaling on it. And he said it was like either one or three feet across, meaning from the left to the right. I'm not so sure this is one piece because it looks like there's a separation right there, right? So I don't know, but it almost looked like a serpent's head or a snake's head right there, see it? Again, with these weird layers, but check out these features. You can just barely see them comes out and you can see this blurring being dropped right here and one clear piece sitting right there. Really, really cool guys. Some of these features, I don't believe that they're rocks, not in the least bit. These pieces right here, I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the screen. You can see where these rocks look like they come up. It has this piece that looks like it's broken off. You can see it coming down. But look at the small features or squiggly line type things on here. Picture like something like an electronics board, right? Now, I want you to picture that thing encrusted for X amount of years, okay? It kind of looks like it has that appearance to it, right? See that? It's got like this little U-shaped type piece here down in the bottom of it. And we can see these like two squiggly line type things right next to each other, like they're designed and not just something random, right? This here also looks like it has some kind of weird shapes in it. Zoom out, go here to the left, check this thing out. Just tilt your head slightly to the right. Check the way this rock has this top piece. And then look at the inside, there's a middle piece and it looks like it's perfectly spaced from the very top layer here to the bottom section. And again, there are supports from the top section to the middle, to the middle, to the bottom. See that? What do you suppose that is? Is it nothing more than a rock? I don't know. Slide over here slightly to the right. And you've got what looks like these other funky looking pieces that look like they almost have designs in them. See that? Another shape of that. Now, if we slide all the way to the right hand side of this pan, about here, there's some other interesting little piece. Almost looks like some kind of weird container of some sort. See that? Just to the right of that, look at this little blurred out piece, but look at the little features inside it. See that? And it's completely blurred as you can see. Even backing out, you can see it's still spot blurred, right? Other strange looking rocks here. This is pretty neat, what is this? Folks, look at this thing. You can see like a small round piece here, one to the right of that one, right there. And it's in these little areas, like kind of recess into whatever that is. Yeah. This piece here, nice 90 degree angles, goes straight up, nice corner, another corner, drops back down. You got one on the side of it, goes up, nice 90 degree angle and comes back down. Since I've been doing these photos, folks, there's no doubt in my mind that this rock mimicking software, they can literally, either it's done by AI, which I would think it'd have to be because there's so much work involved in these photos that you, you can't help but to look at this now and just about anything could be something intelligently made. And you wouldn't know it because it's actually being hidden. This piece down here, not sure what to make of that. 
Now that could be an oddly shaped rock, could very well be. Folks, I don't know about you, but it looks like it's like almost like a thin wall of something. Now it could very well be stone, could be soft stone, we don't know. It also could be like rusting out metal. There's no way of knowing that. Why? Because everything's almost the same color. Here's another piece down here. Funny thing about it, it almost looks like it's, in, it's aligned with almost like the top one. Although this one's a little further up. But see how it's going in the same exact direction. This rock right here. Nice corners to it. We've got this like smooth angled piece right here. See the way this is going across? This smooth area? Like a nice smooth 90 degree angle right there, that corner. These rocks right here in the middle of the screen, that's kind of funky looking if you look at that. See that? What do you guys make of that? Putting everything with the same texture, it's so easy to hide stuff. Look at this white tube type thing. See that? Goes like this here. I think that's just been painted over. So you can see two lines of white right here. And then the rest of it's like this different color, weird kind of blurred out piece. Trust me, folks, if they don't want you to see it, you're not going to. It's as simple as that. Look at these pieces here. One, two, three, four, five. It's shopped down here and because it, it's in the sun. And and you can see it starts to fade away as it goes into the darker area. See that? One, two, three, four, five, maybe a sixth. See that? Here's a weird looking lizard type head type thing. Or at least it looks that way. Now, let's say for argument's sake, I'm totally off base. It still makes you wonder what this open piece is right there. Look at this right here. There's round circles and some pieces up here. Look at the way it's like, you can see something been literally draped over this to hide the lines in here. But check that out, round piece. One looks like it's three quarters of a piece down here. Yeah, there's so much in here, folks. You can bounce around this thing for a long time and find more and more crazier things. Just really cool. You just don't know what you're gonna find in here. Look at this thing. That's a little unusual, if you ask me. Going around here, you can see that it's got a nice art shape to it. It's nice and rounded. Going around this piece. Folks, when you get this, just have a really good look at every little nook and cranny in here. You're going to find many, many more things that I'm not even pointing out. This piece. Right here. It's like a squarish doodad sticking right out of the side of this. It's hillside. Looks like something sticking out of this rock. Looks like it has a small shadow under it. Or it's part of the back rock, one of the two. I love this little piece right here, coming down. Look at this. Goes straight across, and then it drops down here on the left. Just a little bit, see that? It's like some kind of white tubular piece. Could be steel, it's hard to tell what that is, see it? Just popping right out. This right here. You can see it's white right here. This whole piece, I'll put it right in the middle of the screen for you. This whole piece right here laying here. You can see the whited piece, that's the actual item. You can see some pieces, it's hiding through here. You can see this. They put this up in front to hide whatever's behind here. But look at that. Does that look like natural rocks to anybody? Now, is there any rocks in this photo? Absolutely, sure. But I don't believe what we're seeing is all the rocks. And I believe 90% of this is not rocks at all. Uh, rather interesting shape of rocks. Really, really cool items here, folks. Check this out. That somehow doesn't have features like I would expect in a rock. Look at the straight lines. We got one going across here. If you slant your head to the right, you can see that. Then we get the lines coming down here. One thick line connecting to this one, and then another thinner one down here. Just look at the way that rock looks, folks. Look at that. This whole section right here, look at this. 
What are we even looking at here, folks? Look at that. Piece coming down. Looks like part of a J shape. Right there. A little piece. You can see like little circles inside this. Got pieces right here. Look at this. Nice and smooth right here on the left. Nice straight line. Got a separation between the lines. See that right there? This piece here going like this and coming back down. This whiter piece. Something right here. There's another white piece inside this opening here. I think what we're seeing is a devastated civilization that lived on Mars, and we're seeing the remnants of it. Now, I don't believe everything's been totally wiped out. It's kind of like when you get like a catastrophic storm here, right? Like either a really bad hurricane, um, an F5 tornado, any of that sort. You would expect some major destruction. However, some pieces still make it through. And I think that's probably the case here on Mars. And you can bet they're looking at every inch of this stuff and really, really checking it out. Check this piece out. What is that? Almost looks like a mini structure. Look at that. It's a little bit of white here at the very bottom of it, but check out the way that thing is shaped. Straight across, comes down at an angle on the right, does the same on the left, and look at the little features inside here. On the left-hand side, inside this tanner area that they've brushed over on there. It's the little features, and it gets you thinking, is this really a rock, or is it not? Just to the left of that, look at this. Look at the way these things come down. What's the chances of that doing that? See that? Well, that's it, folks. Folks, tell me what you see. Simple as that. If you've seen something that I didn't point out, leave a timestamp, drop it in the comment section, and we'll all have a look at it. Throw a comment down below. Please like and share. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share. Folks, we're going to probably be doing more of these. Why? This way here, it's unedited. It's right there in your face. We can go looking for these things. And you can pause this anytime and have a look as well. Folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.